Hey, John. Please forgive my disheveled appearance and my raspy voice. I had a bachelor party yesterday for one of my friends who's getting married next Saturday, May 5th. Listen, dude, I don't know if you think that politics is about talking with people with like the businesses and making money and and then I'm, I'm very frustrated about this how to get this out to you right now I think you're a really intelligent person but I, th I think you know you get into the political system and then it becomes about like communicating to people within the political system like like you guys are just the ones that are doing it but that's like now it's changed it just changed the internet video just changed politics. It's not, a, you're not on Capitol Hill anymore. Right now, now you're on my computer screen and we're having a conversation and that's the way politics is gonna be in the United States. It happened. And I think that what you gotta do as a politician is con connect to the people desperately, like incessantly listen to the people and talk to the people. Use this technology to do it because we have it. and. You don't need a lot of money to do it. And everyone has access. That's extreme. A lot of people have access to it in the U.S. A lot of people that are going to vote. Dude, the politicians got to listen to the public. Or we're going to end up getting fuck, fucking... We're going to be at war. That's why we're at war is because the politicians were listening to the public. They just went and took us to war. Afghanistan was one thing. I didn't. I was. I was up for going to Afghanistan. Iraq just blew my mind. I couldn't fucking believe it. I could believe it. I accepted it when it happened. I even rationalized it and thought Saddam Hussein is like. What was happening was like he's like a bully in school. And it's like he came up to you and said, I have a gun in my locker and I'm going to shoot you after school. So you freak out. This is like what Saddam Hussein was saying to the U.S. I have chemical weapons. I'm going to use them. And so then the cops come and they come up to the bully and they're like, we're going to search your locker for a gun. And the bully says, no, no, no. Come back in an hour and then you can search my locker. So the fucking U.N. leaves and waits for Saddam Hussein to put his weapons away and then they come back. And I see that, that he did have weapons at some point, and he was threatening us with them. And that's fucked up. But doesn't mean that you go to fucking war. He didn't use any weapons on us. You don't invade a fucking country unless you get attacked. Unless, I was going to say unless mass genocide, but like, I guess... If you're going to fucking invade a country, invade a country properly so that people don't get slaughtered, so that, you know, you don't take the government and, and what are you going to do? Invade a country where they don't, they don't speak the same language. You can't do that. You cannot fucking do that. This invading countries is bullshit. Invade them culturally or diplomatically. Don't, do not invade them with guns unless you want to, you, your people to get killed. some straight talk you said straight talk three times dude lose the tie talk to me like a person we can do this you're fucking brilliant i like you a lot i've always liked you a lot i'm looking forward i'm looking forward to this i'm looking forward to talking to you more actually i started this video with not really think i like i am pushing on uh, pushing for barack obama for president i have been and i think he's brilliant but i like you a lot i really like Ultimately, it doesn't fucking matter. As long as the president's listening to the people and there's a dialogue, we're going to be able to get things done. I mean, we got so much potential. All right. That's all. That's all, man. I'm looking forward to your, your re-response to these videos. Let me know. Let me know what you think about using, utilizing this technology because I think we can put it, I think we can put it everywhere cheaply and, and really streamline things, grease the wheels of this, this democracy that's been really bogged down with red tape and laziness get people let people get involved let people get involved that's what this is let people get involved that's what we're doing